welcome again in this video we will see while else and the for else statements python loops support an optional else block the else block in the context of a loop provides code to execute when the loop exits normally or in other words the code in the loops else block does not execute if the loop terminates due to a break statement so we can use the combination of while else or we can use the combination of or else to do certain tasks so let us see practically how these while loop and for loop works with the optional else block so here we have an uh, while loop and optional else block this program code will calculate the average of five unknown numbers here the logic is as per the statement the else block in the context of a loop provides code to execute when the loop exits normally means when the loop exits normally after the condition becomes false then this else part will be evaluated suppose if the loop gets terminated prematurely due to because of the break statement then else part will not be evaluated so this is the meaning this else part will be evaluated only if the while condition becomes false naturally means normally if the while loop gets terminated so listen this word carefully if the while loop exits or terminate due to the break statement prematurely due to the break statement and terminates prematurely then the else part will not be evaluated it will not execute means the else block does not execute so here we are finding the average value for the five non negative numbers we are initializing the count and sum both equal to 0 and we are giving the instruction for the user and this is the control variable count and this is the condition while condition while count is less than 5 get the value from the user this time floating point value if value is less than 0 print negative numbers not acceptable terminated and then break the while loop if the user enters negative value then the while loop will be terminated and the remaining statements of the while loop will not be evaluated if the user enters five positive numbers continuously then this if condition becomes false and there is no question of break statement then the body of the while loop remaining body of the while loop will be evaluated count becomes count plus 1 sum becomes sum is equal to sum plus the value entered okay 
after five consecutive loop executions the loop will terminate so once the loop gets terminate normally then the else part will be evaluated suppose before the five consecutive while loop iterations if the user enters negative value then this if condition becomes true then it will print only this part because break is placed just below this uh, print statement so this print statement will be evaluated after that there is a break statement this break statement will terminate the loop and the remaining statements will not be evaluated and else part also will not be evaluated so that is the meaning okay let us uh, run this code and check how it works this time i would like to enter five positive numbers okay for example one two three four five five positive numbers and the average is three i entered five positive numbers one initially one is not less than zero so this uh, if condition becomes false so body of the if condition will not be evaluated whereas the remaining statements of the while loop will be evaluated count becomes count plus one and sum becomes sum plus value so 0 plus 1 becomes 1 and 0 plus the value entered 1 becomes 1 and if the second time when I enter 2 2 is less than 0 this condition becomes false once again count becomes 1 plus 1 that is 2 and sum becomes 1 plus 2 that is 3 when I enter 3 positive value again this uh, if statement becomes false then these two will be updated when entered 4 count becomes 4 when entered 5 count becomes 5 when the count becomes 5 in the next iteration the count will be updated here in the while condition when the count becomes 5 5 is less than 5 becomes false the condition becomes false so the loop will terminate naturally and then the else part will be evaluated ok this is how the program execution takes place when we enter only the positive values 5 positive numbers let us run the code once again and enter some positive values and the negative value for example i will enter three positive values for example 5 5 5 okay next i would like to enter the negative value for example minus 2 so now when i enter negative value minus 2 look at here minus 2 this condition becomes true because minus 2 is less than 0 this print statement will be evaluated after this print statement immediately we have a break statement so this break statement will terminate the loop when the loop gets terminated due to because of this break statement the else part will not be evaluated okay means what is inside the else part there is an uh, average so this will not be evaluated so let us enter minus 2 and 
see what happens look at here negative numbers not acceptable terminating so else part has not executed so this is how the optional else part works in association with the while loop similarly we can use the else black in association with the for loop means for else so here I have taken the simple example to check the vowels in a string entered by the user in for else loop it works similar to like the while else loop it is equivalent to an while, el while else loop but here as soon as the user enters the iterable object means a sequence so here string we know that for loop executes or repeats number number of times the elements present in a sequence so when it finishes naturally means when the for loop ends naturally then the else part will be evaluated suppose if the for loop terminates due to an uh, break statement then this else part will not be evaluated Let us see how it works by running this code. This time I would like to enter the word or the sentence without any x. Okay. For example, this is a book. So look at here this uh, sentence or a string has no x letter or character so it has five vowels i i o a o o okay i i k and then two vowels how this evaluates this uh, string here when I enter this is a book look at here the string will be assigned to this uh, word initial vowel count is 0 for each letter in word T this if condition becomes uh, false and this if condition also else if condition also becomes false and there is no question of break statement for h again both if and else if condition be conditions becomes false again for i i look at here i c is equal to for each item C is equal to capital I or small i. So here there is an uh, small i. So this if condition becomes true, then vowel count will be updated with vowel count is equal to vowel count plus one. Then this else if condition becomes false because there is no x word. 
then there is no question of break statement next for yes this if statement and this else if statement becomes false again for i this if statement becomes true vowel count will be updated this else if statement becomes false for yes once again both the if and else if conditions becomes false for a this if condition becomes true and this else if condition becomes false for b both the if and else if conditions become false for o this if condition becomes true this else if condition becomes false similarly for o once again and for k both the if and else if conditions becomes false there is no question of break statement hence the loop as terminated normally okay when the loop terminates or finishes executing normally then this else part will be evaluated so what is the statement inside the else part or else block we have vowel count and then printing the number of vowels okay five vowels let us run this code once again and see what happens if we enter a string which consists of the character x for example 6 so look at here for the first word yes this uh, if condition becomes false and this else if condition also becomes false and there is no question of break statement next for i second character i this if condition becomes true and vowel count will be updated as vowel count is equal to vowel count plus 1 0 plus 1 is equal to 1 and this else if condition becomes false and there is no question of break statement for the third character x this if statement becomes false because the condition becomes false vowel count will not be updated and else if condition becomes true because x because of the letter x when this condition becomes true the body of this else if condition will be evaluated that is x not allowed that's what printed here okay after evaluating this print statement immediately we have a break statement so this break statement will terminate the loop then this else part will not be evaluated so there is no print statement with the vowel count like this we just have one vowel because of this uh, if statement vowel count is equal to vowel count plus one and this is for the second character so here i have entered six and x is the last element and also the single word okay let us run this code and this time enter two words with the x characters this is six just sorry for example six is 
ओके एग्जाम्पल सिक्स इज लेस देन सेवन look at here here only x one x is there and remaining words in this sentence is less than 7 there is no x but when the program finds x then else if condition becomes true once the else if condition becomes true only this print statement will be evaluated and after that we have a break statement this break statement will terminate the loop okay for loop so this for loop will not uh, evaluate the remaining uh, means the for loop will not iterate for the remaining characters in the sequence and this else part will not be evaluated because of this uh, premature termination of the for loop so let us press enter to see how it works so look at here for x it works similarly for this 6 and remaining uh, characters have been skipped because of this x character once it finds x the break statement will terminate the for loop it will not iterate for the remaining uh, characters in the sequence e is uh, less uh, than 7 okay then this else part will not be evaluated also because of this break statement so this is how the else block works with the association of for loop means for else else block will be evaluated only if the for statement or the for loop terminates naturally if it's terminates or if it's uh, stop executing the iterations due to the break statement then the else block will not be evaluated so this is the simple analysis for the for else loop